All right, hello again. We're going to jump right in and talk about all of the tools on the toolbar. I'm going to do them one at a time so that no single recording is too long. We'll start with the brush up in the top left. Don't forget that in order to get to other tools, you just swipe left, swipe right, and you can access everything. And in case you didn't watch my first tutorial, you can take this toolbar and flick it down to the bottom or flick it back up to the top, depending on your preference. So this brush tool is one of the most used tools. If you have a stylus, you can use your stylus with the brush. I do not. Everything that you see me do here is going to be done with my finger. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the brush. Right now it's on the color white. There are a lot of options for colors. So again, swipe left. You'll see that there are quite a few patterns. Swipe back right, you'll see that there are quite a few solids right there as your first choices. But you'll also see that there's a color wheel. If you want a really specific color, I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And you have actually not just these options. Look down at the bottom of this screen. If you go to that square right in the center, I'm going to tap on that, you'll see that You've got some preset options within each color range. So let's say that I want to do a blue color. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and you'll see that there's quite a few choices. Purple, several shades of green, orange, pink, etc. So that's an option. I just clicked back there, tapped back with the arrow at the top left, and I'm going to go back to the color wheel. So here you can get even more specific. I'm going to go ahead and use my finger and just drag around and you can find any RGB value that you want or if you already know your RGB value you'll notice that you can actually go up inside of this text box, change it yourself, come up with something very specific based on your needs. Now I don't have anything in mind, so let's go with a purple-blue color. And uh, let's make it a little more blue. And then you can change the values at the bottom as well. So in that first long rectangular box in the bottom, you can slide that around and you'll see that it moves it lighter or darker. You can also slide the second one around. I want a nice deep blue, so I'm going to leave it right there and say that I'm done. Now I'm going to move down to opacity. Opacity, if you keep it at 1, means it's fully opaque. It means that you won't be able to see through it at all. The closer you get to 0, and if you put it at 0, you also won't be able to see it because there's no color involved in a 0. So if you, let's say that we put it up about halfway. That means you'll be, it'll be partially translucent. Now for what I want to do today, I actually want to keep it up around one. The size, that dot that you see change on the right, that's actually pretty close to what it will be when you move to your picture. So let's make it somewhat small. Um, you can add a glow. So this is the amount of glow right here, but then you do have to choose a glow color. And I think I want to pick a bright yellow. We'll do it about halfway up. Do I want to tint that? I actually don't for this. In fact, we might do a second one while I show you the tint. So I'm going to put it back to translucent. Okay, so we're done with that. This picture is of my older daughter. We are out on a frozen lake and the lake bed had started to shift a little bit and kind of smash together like tectonic plates. Pretty neat stuff. Uh, looked a little bit like the surface of Mars that day because when we went out driving and found this, it was a very misty, cloudy day. So let's go ahead and make this look like aliens are visiting. You know what? I'm going to change this so it doesn't have a glow. So I'm going to use this undo button. If you look in the top left corner, you'll see an arrow. 
every time I hit it, it undoes the last motion that I did. Now if I wanted to redo that, I use the one on the right. But I don't. I'm going to take that back off. And I'm going to take the glow off. I don't like the glow. So I'm going to make that translucent again. And let's go back to the picture. So here's our UFO. And of course it looks like a flying saucer because why wouldn't it? And I think they're going to beam my daughter up momentarily, which would probably make her very happy. She's quite adventurous. Looks a little bit like a sombrero. Um, let's go back to the brush because this is the brush tutorial. And let me show you a feature that is really handy if you want to be very specific. Go to the size slide there. If you tap it three times in succession, you'll notice that you can actually specify a really specific size. So let's say, I mean, you can see here it's down to the fifth decimal point. So I'm going to say that I want mine to be 30. This is in pixels, I believe. Okay, so now I've got it exactly 30. I'm going to change my color to be something fun like those sparkles. Um, maybe we'll tint that yellow and call it done and we'll put a little outline on this. Yeah, that's me singing all right. Okay, and last, let's go ahead and take that tint off. We'll make the opacity a little lighter. I'm going to choose yellow. I'm going to have zero glow on that, but maybe I'd like some glow. Maybe I'd like an orange glow. I want the size to be much bigger. And here we go. We're going to beam her up. No, I don't like that. Smaller, make it green glow, make that heavier, and there she goes. She is no more. Um, I think that mostly covers the brush tool uh, line mode, the tap or draw repeatedly to form one continuous line. Let me just show you what that looks like. We'll use the red. I'll make it completely opaque and I'm going to make this pretty small. No glow. Every time I pick up my finger, it attaches where I left off. So I'm going to take that off and I'll maybe I'll write a message. Uh, no, I don't want to do it with a message. Let's see. Because if I do that, my message will look really funny. I'm going to take that line mode off. I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger. And now we'll write a message. Take me to your mom. Hope that helped you to understand the brush a little bit better. Uh, if you've used this a lot, you know all these things. If you haven't, if you're a novice, hopefully this helped you to see what some of the options are.